What's going on everybody? Andrew here and today I wanted to do a different kind of video. It's not going to be a lot of guitar playing in this video. I wanted to talk a little bit about being a musician and things that happen to you and something that happened to me recently where I had a chance to audition for a pretty good gig. It was a band that was signed and had a lot of things going on and I didn't get the gig. And I want to talk about the good things in that and why I'm seeing it as a good thing and also as something that could turn into something down the road. The story sort of begins with uh, my background, which I, I'm based in the New York City area. I'm an electric guitar player. I play with a lot of different event bands and a lot of like, I've had some restaurant gigs and some wedding type gigs, although I don't really love wedding gigs, but I was in an original band for a while and I also do some artist support type stuff. So a little bit of everything and through that, you meet a lot of different people. And I, I am a firm believer that you wanna take basically any gig that you can that isn't a stretch or make sure that you can still pay your bills. But I had a gig years ago with this uh, bass player and I actually met him at this club called Cafe Wa, which is a place that I play a lot even now. And back then on one of the first uh, shows that I had with him there, he and I really hit it off and he mentioned that he has this restaurant gig uptown on a Monday night. And at the time I'm like, oh, Monday night gig, you know, I don't know, I don't know if that makes sense for me, but I ended up doing it and it, it became not only quite lucrative uh, with the tips that we had, and it was in the Upper East Side, it was in a good area, but he and I really bonded uh, on a lot of things and we ended up going on to do a lot more shows together. Uh, again, that kind of goes along with what I'm saying, like make sure that you take the gig, you never know what's gonna happen. So some time goes on and I think this is even pre-COVID, uh, he gets this opportunity to be in this band and he ends up leaving. And I, you know, I follow him on Instagram and I'm still close with him, you know, somewhat and we talk here and there. But we end up, you know, sort of going our separate ways and. I go on to, uh, to to do some other stuff and I'm playing, doing my thing and COVID happens and then, you know, COVID's kind of over and we start gigs back up again. And out of the blue, I get a, a phone call and it's, uh, it's, it's this guy and he says, hey, I have something that I need to talk to you about and it's a little time sensitive. Immediately I, I went, you know, because I had been following this group that he had joined that was doing quite well. Uh, they were doing like some big tour support for some major, major artists. And uh, they would put out some albums and they had had some sort of recent uh, traction even that was sort of amp starting to amp up. And he said, you know, uh, I need to talk to you. And I immediately went, oh man, he's gonna, he, he needs me for this band. And I was so excited. I don't know what to expect. And I'm obviously, you know, you know, pacing back and forth, thinking about all the things that it could be. And he calls me and I thought that it was actually going to be for like one show, like, They've had this sort of set band for a long time and I thought maybe the guitar player couldn't make one important gig and they needed me to fill in. And I would have been cool with that. I do that all the time. Uh, and I love doing that because you kind of just get paid and you don't have to deal with any of the drama and any of the other crap. It's, it's kind of great. It was different. He called me and said, we're actually having trouble uh, with our guitarist and we're looking to replace him. And you were the first person that I thought of. Now, right there, you just have to have so much gratitude to even get that call um, from really what was like this silly restaurant gig that I had played with him uh, years before. And I can't emphasize this enough. I had not really been in close contact with this person. So uh, I'm blown away on this phone call. I'm like, wow, uh, you know, what would this mean? And he's like, well, it pays, you know, relatively well. You basically get like a, you know, a stipend and it doesn't matter if the band's on tour or not, you still get paid. It was like a really good it was a really pro deal. And, um, and I was, uh, you know, I was really thinking about it. I said, let me sleep on it. Let me think about what I want to do. And I don't even think I slept on it. I think I just messaged, messaged him back later that day and said, you know what, I'm going to do it. Let's see whatever needs to happen. If I, you know, and he's like, okay, the next step is we're going to fly you out because it's not based out of uh, where I am. He said, we're going to fly you out to audition. And I said, okay, great. Uh, put me in touch with whoever you need to put me in touch with and let's do it. So he, he ends up getting me in touch with the manager who calls me and now this is where, so the story starts to change a little bit as it always does. You know, uh, the manager calls me and says, hey, Andrew, uh, we've heard so many great things about you and uh, you know, this person speaks very highly of you and I'm like, that's fantastic. Yes, uh, you know, I, I played with him for a long time and I've still been playing music and she goes, okay, so 
So here's the deal. Why don't you actually just take some videos of yourself playing and send them to me? So right there, I'm kind of, you know, of course, your ego is kind of like, well, I thought you said, you know, I thought that they said they were going to fly me out. Now they just want me to send them videos. You know, what if I don't even get past this? But you, you have to fight that kind of feeling and say, you know what, I'll do whatever. You know, it's no skin off my back to take some videos. I, I make these videos all the time. I just set up my camera and I made a couple videos playing over some songs on Spotify and playing the guitar parts and uh, and I sent them to her. She didn't actually really say much about the videos, but she did end up putting me in touch with her event coordinator who, um, who, who bought tickets for me and sort of coordinated some plane stuff. And before you know it, I had tickets bought to fly out there uh, next uh, the, the following week. So uh, I get out there, they put me up in a hotel, they flew me right out. Everything's all paid for, um, which is cool. If you're, you know, kind of guy like me, I've been playing shows, you know, right from the bottom where you're playing in someone's garage or you're playing in the venue where the toilet stall doesn't even have a door. And then, you know, to get to kind of this level is, it, it you know, it feels, uh, it feels nice for a change, you know what I mean? So I get picked up, I get taken to the hotel, and then I get a ride from the hotel out to this private studio where the band uh, rehearses, which is, it, it's all very, very cool. You know, I'm out there and I, I've got my material learned, I'm ready to roll. And uh, th the only thing that's missing is the singer, and the singer's not there. And I go, you know, is the singer gonna, gonna come? And uh, no, the singer's not coming, I find out, because the singer's upset about the guitar player. That's kind of disheartening for me. I'm like, all right, well now it's like, you know, this is this is a little tough, but the whole thing, the whole time I'm just sort of being, you know, as good as I, I can be and the manager's there, the agent is there and they're all sort of in this like private booth in the back watching the the thing um, on watching us play in the live room on some uh, video monitors and through the mixing board and whatever. The other thing is because the singer's not there, the material that I learned is not exactly going to be the same. So they're like, you were supposed to play these four songs, but since the singer's not here now, you know, you have to play... Uh, you know, something else or just jam on some stuff. So we just jammed a little bit. Uh, like I said, I'm very friendly with uh, one of the guys in the band. We really hit it off. He was really rooting for me. So he was kind of rooting for me, talking me up a little bit. When it's done, you know, the manager comes out. She says, all right, you have a great look. You know, I think you have a great uh, style. Playing sounded great. And, uh, you know, we'll fly you back to New York and we'll let you know how it goes. And uh, soon after that, my buddy, you know, called me and he said, hey, man, I think that went great. I will say that there's someone else that's in the running for the gig and they have a little bit more professional touring experience. And one of the other people in the band is sort of buddies with them. So it's going to be like pretty close. Um, and then about a week later, uh, he called me and said, you know, we ended up going with the other person. You know, in this, the entire thing lasted from like, for like three weeks. It was like a three week, like whirlwind of like me getting this phone call and then getting another phone call that said that I didn't get it. That's how it goes. Um, I think that there's a lesson in this and the lesson is to always take that gig that you don't think will mean anything. And I also think that something will come of this one way or another. Me going out here and auditioning and getting in front of this agent and this manager and this band, instead of being embittered or getting upset or anything like that, the way to be, in my opinion, is just, I am happy with my career, I'm happy with what I'm doing, and this would have been really cool, but you know, the fact that it didn't happen is okay, and I feel like you just have to have gratitude over people calling you and it's a good sign that more good things are coming and that you're, you know, you're working towards something and that you're, and that, you know, I still feel fulfilled with what I do, um, even though that this didn't work out. So that's just a little lesson for everybody out there. It's a little sort of an interesting story that I wanted to tell you guys about something that happened recently. And I want to start making more content like this that's focused on getting gigs, keeping gigs, you know, good musicianship and things that are beyond just the fretboard. You know, there's a lot that goes on to, in, in being a musician that's beyond the fretboard. So if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and leave a comment if you have any kind of thoughts, any kind of similar experiences that have happened to you. And uh, if you enjoy the content overall with my page, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, I really appreciate you checking out the video. So uh, hang in there and we'll see you around.